Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. You know, I got another something different. Since my last video got a lot of views, I'm going to be doing another real life military loadouts video in Ravenfield, but this time it is going to be the Russian Spetsnaz. So I'm going to be doing the normal. I'm going to be doing two lives because I just have a bunch of weapons. So starting off with the AS Battle. So yeah, it's in, it's suppressed and I'm going to get 20 bullets. So we go through them pretty fast. So I mean, it's 20 rounds isn't that much for an assault rifle, but it's it's fast, it's good. So, yeah. oh, okay, I'm not gonna count that since I was friendly. So, yeah, last life. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm using a Russian pistol also. Yeah. So, because I know last time I was using Glock. So, that, yeah, that wasn't super accurate. And we go down. So I'm going to be going to the next gun. Okay, next I got the AK-74. It's... It has a decent fire rate. Fire... Fire rate. And also... It yeah, has low recoil. So, yeah, has a decent amount of damage. So that helps. So, yeah, and it does... Alright, let me just shoot a low. Actually, yeah, it shoots. Ooh, it shoots decently. So we do go down, so I will be switching to the next weapon. I switched to a pretty similar weapon. The AK-102. So yeah, I, it's like a more modern version of the AK-74. There's also the AK-103, so, I'm pretty sure this is the AK-103, just a different wording. So yeah, low recoil, good fire rate, and a decent magazine of 30 rounds. Yeah, so that, I'm gonna pick a different spawn. So, yeah. Do you want me to make more of these videos? Oh, I probably will. Because the last one got 300 views in like 5 days. So, yeah, I think I am going to do more of these. I'm thinking like SEAL Team 6. So comment down below if you want to see that. Or any specific country you would like to see. He's going crazy with this AK. Right as I said, that I died. Okay. Okay, so I am now using the only sniper rifle of today's video. Oh, green shot, green shot. The SVDS. The Dragon SVDS. So, it's a semi-auto sniper. I don't normally use semi-auto snipers. But this is just, it's a super good gun. So, like, it's just really, really good. So, like, it's a good gun. So, I just really like it. And it, so, just, just stats. Decent, good fire rate for a sniper. Oh, uh, good damage. I think it's like one shot, headshot, any range, and also low recoil so yeah and we gonna be I'm gonna be doing one more life and then that will be it not for the video just for this stuff so yeah it's really good so yeah it's really good and um it does a lot of damage, like I said. Not a whole lot of recoil. 
and also when you get later. So I'm now using the Russian machine gun. This is a World War II machine gun, I can't find the exact machine gun they use, but this is a pretty act that's from what I could research pretty close to what they use. Like not that many not that many changes. Maybe there's some more modernized. Because it's made in the 1940s. So yeah. I mean, it has a lot of ammo. It has a drum mag, so you just put it on top. And you get 47 bullets. And that guy is tiny. So you get 47 bullets. With a okay, with a pretty high fire rate. Decent, and a decent amount of, um, and not that high recoil. Oh man, I think I'm gonna lose. Yeah, decent amount of just everything. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just a, it's a good gun. You want to use something different? Also, just in general, it's a good gun. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna go until I die. Yeah. So, that will be all for today's video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will do more videos like this.